I accidentally put ketchup in my eyes. I now have hindsight. <laughs> Hello again everybody and welcome back. Right, so as we know, the remotes that come standard with Android boxes, even Fire Sticks, some people don't like them. So today we're going to be taking a look at a wireless remote with a built-in mouse feature and it's actually an upgrade to one that a lot of people liked, including myself. So that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so first of all, I want to thank Banggood for sending this product out to review. And if you are interested in looking at it, I will leave links in the description down below. Right, so previously I did review the Wii Chip Air Mouse Remote. I don't know what they actually call them, the proper name. <laughs> but it's a wireless remote with a QWERTY keyboard on the back and an Air Mouse built in. And that one was really popular and I've used it ever since I got it. And if you haven't seen the review on that, I'll put it in the top right hand corner now. But this is the actual Wii Chip upgraded remote, it's called the W2. And I don't know if you can see the differences, one's like a glossy finish. And that's got like a carbon finish on it, it's really nice. The upgraded version though, it doesn't seem to have a home button. So that's one feature that I used to like using a lot. But on the upgraded remote, the home button, it's non-existent. It's now a voice button, which nine times out of ten, I'll be honest, they don't seem to work. It's got a big QWERTY keyboard on the back and it's also got a mouse pad as well where you can go around, you can click on shit, and I do really like that about it. The buttons aren't backlit, so they are not backlit. The only one that is backlit is the FN key. So as you can see, it is very, very similar to its predecessor. Do you like that word? Predecessor. So the first Wii chip and the upgraded Wii chip, there's not that much difference apart from look. And this is missing the home button, but it has got the air pad, air mouse on the back as well. And it does feel a lot better. I like the carbon look personally, but some people may like the gloss look. And I do prefer the button layout on the upgraded version to the older version. Right, so as you can see, if we jump over to the laptop, I plugged in the USB it comes with, and it worked perfectly. I did use the mouse pad on the back. And I use the search functions, I use the QWERTY keyboard to search YouTube and things, and it worked awesome. So if you do use your laptop for streaming and things, and you have it near the TV, but you're not near it, this is quite a good option because you don't have to move. You can just chill out and then change whatever you want to change using this. And then I also tried it on the Nvidia Shield, my main box in the living room. Everything worked perfectly, but like I said, the voice command, that button doesn't seem to work, and it... When it comes to USB remotes, usually you will find voice commands don't work, the power button doesn't work, and the volume buttons don't work. But what you can do is you can program them via infrared, so it registers the buttons from your current controller, so your current remote, to the Wii chip. I've done a video on that, you can watch that, I'll put it in the top corner now. But now I know a lot of people will be thinking, well on Fire Stick, Fire Sticks don't have a USB port. Because how the remotes work, it comes with a USB, so a dongle and the remote. And in my opinion, this is one of the biggest benefits because if you're using a Chinese box, the remote's a dog shit. You've got to point it straight at the box and if you move it away a little bit, it won't register. But with a USB, you can point it anywhere in the room. You can put it behind objects and it'll still work. But if you're using it for Fire Stick, you're simply going to need the OTG cable and they're not very expensive at all. And all you need to do is, like we said, there's no USB port on the Fire Stick. So on the OTG cable, we plug that into the power on the Fire Stick. And then the power for the Fire Stick into the OTG cable. And then you're going to see you've got a USB port available now. And that's where you can plug your USB for your remote into. Ding dangly do, you're good to go. Right, so one thing I forgot to mention is it has got an on-off button on this one as well. So the slider... And then it's also got a charging port by a micro USB, which the cable comes with as well. And as you can see, now we're on the Fire Stick, and you can see we can function, we can move around as normal. It's responsive. And then we're going to show you an application where you need to use an air mouse. So usually you have to use mouse toggle for Fire TV, but a lot of people have problems with this, so I'm going to show you how it works now. And it is worth noting, you don't need to install anything for the mouse to be able to work. So usually the apps that require you to use a mouse or the mouse toggle app are apps that are designed for mobile devices or touchscreen devices. So you'll see you, you can't navigate around and click on things when you're using just the normal function. But all we need to do is click on the mouse button there and then as you're going to see, 
we've got a mouse and we just wave it around and it, it's an air mouse and these are the best things about these remotes I absolutely love them I don't know why but they click on whatever you want to do and ding dangly do and free VPNs this is the most common with them you'll find a lot of the time you can't navigate around free VPN apps because they're all designed for mobile devices and that's why these remotes are so good Another great feature with them as well, if I click on the drop down, what you're going to see it comes up with a list, but when you're clicking up and down it doesn't seem to work. What you do is long hold the middle button, so the enter button, and then it works as a slider. So you can slide up and down the categories, the countries, the sections, whatever it is you're using it for. Then click on whatever you want to click on and then there you go, ding dang do. These remotes were also very popular with apps such as Showbox Movie HD, the streaming apps were, were designed for touchscreen devices as well that didn't allow you to navigate around them. So now I'm just going to show you the QWERTY keyboard on the back. I'm going to show you it working and see how responsive it is. Once again, you can select the mouse if you like. The mouse will only work when you open an application. It won't work on the Amazon home screen, but there's no need to use it on there anyway. And then you simply click on whatever you want to do. Right, so now I'm just going to type in quickly, let's crack on.org. My dog's going nuts. I don't know what's happened. <laughs> So one thing to note as well is there is an FN key on the keyboard and when I press this it lights up and now it allows me to use the red characters so the dot, the at, the dollar symbol, hashtag, shit like that. So I can click dot and then the FN key again to turn it off and then dot org and as you can see that's a lot more simple than trying to highlight every letter and then there you go you can click on it and visit wherever you want to visit. So right, we're going to jump over, have a quick look at the price of it, where you can order it. But just before we do that, when it comes to both of these remotes, I think it's more down to personal preference. The added feature you will get on the older Wii Chip remote is the home button. But on the newer one, I think it looks better, feels better. I do like the mouse pad on the back and the keyboard does feel more responsive. But I do think it will be personal preference. Do comment your thoughts down below. Right, so like I said, I will leave links in the description down below. And if we click on it, as you can see at the moment, the price is £11.75, which in my opinion is really, really cheap. At the moment, it's saying it's 52% off. And then don't forget, if you are using Fire Stick, you will need the OTG cable. And as you can see, they're less than £2. So as you can see, you can pre-order. And it seems to, when it gets to 500 pieces, it then goes up to £12.53. Then 899 it goes up a little bit again. But usually what you've found with both, the, well, with the older Wii Chip remote, the price always seems to have a percentage off and it's always cheaper than the listed price. So as you can see in the description, it says the features and technical specifications. Control mouse by moving your hands, so that's the air mouse function. Updated detection functions, 2.4G wireless transmission up to 10 meters, and it is plug and play. So, as soon as you plug the USB in, you're good to go. You can see some supported systems, and then it also notes here. So, I, I like that they're actually telling you about this. So, the remote control does not work with Samsung and LG smart TVs. I tried it on my smart TV, which is LG, and it doesn't work at all. So, if you were looking at buying one for your TV, it's, it's literally a no go. And two, the remote control cannot turn off set-top boxes, which we already spoke about. This is a problem with all wireless remotes. It seems the power function and the volume functions don't seem to work via the USB. Right, so my opinion, I will be using it. I love them, and I think it makes life so much easier when I'm using my Android boxes. But, when it comes to which one you'd rather use, I think it's literally personal preference of the looks. Because they both do exactly the same thing. Some people won't like the carbon look on that. And some people won't like the glossy finish on that. You can see the size difference as well. So I know a lot of women say the bigger the better. So I don't know how that works. Comment down below. <laughs> right, so that's me. That's it. Do comment down below your thoughts on this. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and the bell icon next to it. And I'll see you soon. ta -da. A voice remote button, a voice, I, I don't know. Right, so as you can see, if we jump over on the laptop, I plugged in the USB and it worked perfectly. Perfectly. And this is one of the biggest benefits in my eyes. In my eyes. You can see there's some... Sus <laughs>